Hi guys, welcome to week two. Uh, great meeting you last week. Nice getting to chat with, with a few of you and meeting a few of you at the Seal Beach Pier. A couple of you came by during my um, office hour on Wednesday. Remember that Wednesday is 11.30 to 12.30. I'm at the umbrella tables outside of uh, Robex, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf uh, over at the USU. So come by, ask any questions or just say hi or you know bring some lunch and hang out. Um, Anyway, so you may be there on Wednesday or in class or online. Uh, but it was great meeting as many of you as I was able to last week and hanging out at the beach. Um, a number of you, so one thing about the plaster project, some of them came out really nicely and some of them, you know, there was this or that technical difficulty. So you should know that all of these activities, it's always about making a sincere effort, about really giving it your best, giving it a shot, trying to, you know, see what's going on. It's not about achieving excellence or anything like that. So if you make a, if you make a, a legit effort and it doesn't quite work out, like you don't have to panic that, oh no, you know, you, I mean, in terms of your grade, you'll be okay, but it's just, it's a thing to play with. Um, some of you in your blog posts about the plaster casting, uh, you know, maybe your results are pretty good or not, and, and maybe you had fun, but um, you said, yeah, I wish I had done something more creative with it, which, um, you know, the plaster casting, like other activities, is, you know, something probably most of you haven't done before. So it's kind of learning something new and you could learn something new and still be kind of, you know, wild and out there with, with what you're thinking about implementing it. But when we're kind of obsessed with just like, how do I do it? What are the steps? And, you know, the plaster, once you've done it, it's pretty simple. But when you haven't done it, it's kind of a handful of steps to keep in mind. So understandably that was you know kind of a lot about just how do I make this happen um, and and then afterwards you said oh I wish I'd done something more fun or more personal or more creative um, so this week week two uh, we have something that is in one sense kind of simple it's take a picture take a self-portrait um, so you know you can use your phone or a, a, a real camera if you happen to have one um, but the twist is that it's, uh, it's landscapes with a corpse. Hang on. The twist is that it's landscapes with a corpse, which is uh, for Azima Karu, uh, it's a 25 year, I think, project that he's been doing these amazing uh, images. And so we're inspired by, by his long-term project. And so it's a chance for you to think about, you know, how you'd like to go. And, and you know, unlike the real end, this one you get to, you know, in, in the case, he, his models get to wear, you know, Prada and Versace and amazing clothes and, and then have this great scene. And then they get up, they get to get up and walk away. So that's, uh, you know, both a reflection about our own mortality, but also we get to do, we get to think about it while we're still here and alive. So it's a unique kind of photo project. And in his case, he always does a number of different distances. Like he'll, you know, there's, there's one in, in the book of, uh, of, of someone who's, who's died on a Tokyo rooftop. And you know, the first shot is it's probably like a helicopter shot or if, if you happen to have a drone or something. But it's this wide scene of the city and then it zooms in and zooms in and finally it's like a close-up of her face. So you don't need to have a drone to take your pictures. But the idea of taking at least two and having one be kind of a wider shot of the scene um, uh, a couple semesters ago, Rubina Barrero did a really cool one where um, it, there's, you, she's at the bottom of, a, of a, like a stairwell, an atrium, and she's just kind of on the ground, and there's like a red solo cup with drinks splattered out. And so she's got one that's taken like from the sixth story and then a, one that's a close-up of her on the ground. It's pretty cool. Um, so this one, you know, more than last week's plaster casting, this one will be a chance for you to think about, you know, how you'd like to express or something. Um, you know, you might, some people might think about something happening in a pool or somebody, you know, might think about like a, a fight with their significant other and, you know, maybe some drama happens. Uh, wherever you want to go with it, uh, if you want to play with movie blood, go ahead and have fun, but nothing like that is required. Um, but it'll be a chance to express yourself and, and you know, think about our existence in this world. So have a great week too. Um, come by the USU Robex on Wednesday if you have any questions or pop on to beacharch.ca slash chat or you know, just be in touch. Um, I know week one, it was kind of a lot of info, just like hit the ground running and do this, do this. 
so hopefully it will start to make more sense or for sure just shout out if it isn't and, and we'll get things sort of clear and organized. Um, have a great week. See you in class. See you online. Thanks a lot.